home live. Okay, we're going to do it right now. All right. And we're going to see what they say. And let's go ahead and go into my phone. I'm going to do this live with you guys. You guys should be able to hear. I'll put it on speakerphone. Okay. Um, so last time I called them was Thursday. At uh, I was on, on November 16th at 134. Okay. And this is when I called about the DoorDash streak. Okay. So as you can see right there. It's the call log. Okay. So we're going to call them again right now. You guys ready? Hit the thumbs up. I mean, 209 likes. Let's get to 300. Let's go. All right. Call. Speaker. Can you guys hear that? Hit me a thumbs up in the chat if you can hear it. Okay. Thank you for calling DoorDash. To continue in English, press 1. Uh, I have noticed that you have a Dasher account with DoorDash. Are you calling in as a Dasher? Yes. Got it. Thank you for confirming. Thanks. I see the thumbs up, guys. You guys can hear it okay? Report a safety yeah. issue. Please press 9. No safety Otherwise, issue. Otherwise, remain on the line. What do you think is going to happen here? Oh. I would like to talk to a support agent, please, about a contract violation. I understand that you're calling to get help with a Dasher violation. Got him on mute. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Let's see what happens. What do you think is going to happen? You are now being routed to VIP premium. Dasher. What up, Gigwise? I see you, brother. How are you doing, man? So they said premium Dasher. Who knows what that means? I guess it's because I'm a top Dasher. I have no idea. Monitored or recorded. Please stay on the line after your call for a brief survey about your experience. I'm going to turn it. Hi, how are you tonight? I'm good. Thank you for asking. How much of a hurry are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you. Um, I just have a question. I had an issue this past Thursday, um, and I wanted to ask a couple questions to see if somebody could help me with that. Um, I talked to somebody already, but or I didn't talk to somebody about it. I actually put a dispute in online on the in the app. I got a contract violation for order never received. But in the app, I took a picture of it. I dropped it off. The gentleman in the in-app chat, the customer, his name was Todd, T-O-D-D. He, he said, thank you, after I dropped it off. And I said, "What? Well, you're welcome. So all that should be in the app, I would hope. But then an hour later, I got a contract violation because he reported that he never received it. So I would like to see what you guys could do about that. I don't want the contract violation in my account. I know that DoorDash drivers can be deactivated off the platform if you get too many of those. So I, would, I was hoping you can shed some light and help me out this evening. Yes, it was on the 16th uh, on Thursday at about mm, 12 o'clock. Uh, his name was Todd. It was an order from Penn Station. Uh, yes, the app tells me the date and it tells me the uh, merchant. And that was the only order I've done from Penn Station in the last two weeks. And I actually picked up from Penn Station that day. So he he said he never got it within an hour or so of me dropping it off to him. So that's how I know that it's from that order and that in that particular name. Let me check here, okay? That's great. Thank you. What do you guys think is going to happen? Hit the thumbs up. Let's get 500 people in here. We're calling DoorDash Support Live to see if we can get a contract violation, get some answers. Um, I got them on mute right now. They can't hear us. But, um, yeah, maybe this helps you guys. Maybe if you do this, you just it's just about calling when you have a little bit of time so that you could wake up and feel a little less pressure of wondering if I might get a second or third one. Maybe she could do something for us. Maybe she can't. I don't know. But we're going to try. Right. It doesn't hurt to try. Todd is definitely a Karen. Yeah. Screw Todd. Yeah. hundred percent. Anybody that's backing these customers um, to do this. Second. I'm still trying to locate here the um, order for Todd. 
Have yeah, no, it. no problem. Take your time. Anybody that has a problem with me saying, I hope Todd, you know, but listen, Todd is a joke. Okay. Todd is a joke. Having food delivered to your house is not essential. I don't care how hungry you are. Um, to lie about not getting your order makes you a miserable scumbag. You're the low of the low. Because Do you remember the exact um, house number where you delivered the order? Um, hmm. I don't remember the exact house number. No. Um, I, c I could look. I could probably look that up if you give me a second. Do you, why do you need that information? Is that will that be helpful for you? Um, well, sometimes um, it happens. Okay, the customer will report they did not deliver the order if the customer um, delivered the order to the wrong house. So. Oh, okay. I, I, I understand what you're saying. I, I, I 100% know I delivered it to the correct house. Um, I could get you the house number if that's helpful by probably looking at something uh, or recording, but I, I don't remember it off the top of my head, but it, it, that wouldn't have been the case. I definitely delivered it to the correct house. hundred percent. Okay. She's pretty good. Reading off a script. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Uh, how long does something like that usually take um, for a team to look into that and to get back to me? Unfortunately, we cannot provide any specific time frame script. for Dasher since it still depends on our dedicated team. We really can't provide any um, exact date. But you will um, just notice on your rating staff the contract violation will automatically remove if it's accepted. But if the if your dispute was being rejected and they are not in favor with the um, dedicated team, the contract violation still remains on your account up until you complete the 100 eligible handed to me orders. But if this is a single contract violation, you can still dash your spam out. Your account will not be termed for the activation. Script talk. Uh, yeah, no, I, I completely understand it because it, it says that in the, the language says that in the app. I guess my only concern is, and you might not be able to help me with this, and that's okay. But if I go out tomorrow and somebody else lies and says that they didn't get their food when they did, and then I go to work Tuesday and somebody else lies, and then I go to work Wednesday and somebody else lies, and I did everything right. I, you know, was at the right house. I took a picture and I haven't, did, I haven't done a hundred deliveries. Like you said, I, I could have four contract violations and DoorDash tells me I could be deactivated if I have multiple. And that's a little scary for me, especially when I did everything correct. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Um, if that's the case, if you keep receiving a contract violation um, consecutively, but you failed this, to dispute all of those, then you might be receiving an email from the team that your account is there for the activation. But if you're providing a dispute, then it will not be deactivated. Um, you're not there for the activation. That's why we highly recommend as soon as you receive the contract violation, then file an appeal immediately. Oh, so what you're saying is if I get a contract violation and if I do this, if I submitted the dispute uh, right away, that even if I get more, I, I, I'm not, as long as I submit a dispute claim, I'm not going to get deactivated? Yes. Okay, interesting. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate your time. I was just, you know, curious what, if anything, could be done, if you guys could even see that I had the dispute. I do appreciate it. I can see that you saw I took a picture and you said you, you could clearly read what was in the chat messaging. So you guys have a record of that, which is great. So um, I appreciate your time and uh, thank you very much. I'll just continue to do what I can on my end and hope nobody else lies again. So thank you. You're welcome. And so the end of the month or so that's connected to the support line. Thank you.
All right. Let's break that call down real quick. <laughs> now, um, I expected that to happen. You know, she a couple things is, is mostly I might have caught that. Maybe you said I missed it. She was able to look at she asked me what, what was the address. Blah, blah, blah. It was the right place. I wasn't going to say the guy's address on, on the, the, num the number even on live. Right. But she was able to, she said, I see the picture. I see that he said, thank you. Right after he dropped, right after I dropped it off. And he did. And I told you guys that. And then I responded. Actually, I, my response to him was a little like prayer emojis, like you're welcome or thank you or whatever. I, this is what I do. Right. So they could see that. There's a record of that clearly. And they tell us that. So. But another nugget is she tells us, hey, if you dispute, if you have a, a dispute and you submitted information, if you get another contract violation, as long as you submit a dispute, I'm not going to get deactivated for that reason. Good to know. Do I trust that all the way? I don't because these people are reading off scripts. Clearly, she was reading the, the verbiage and language was almost identical to what I would read in that part of the app when it says you got a contract violation. Let's look at it real quick and then we'll get on to the rest of the show. I just wanted to do this with y'all because people are using the word purge and mass deactivation and people are getting contract violations. I got one this week. We got the 90% completion rating and some people confused with acceptance rating. So people, there's a little bit of worriness there. So I wanted to go through this with you guys in real time with the real scenario that happened to me. But some of the language that she said, read, she's reading off a script, which I don't care if she's reading off a script. We know that they read off scripts. It can be frustrating, but their hands are tied. They can only do so much, right? Um, but some of the words she used are verbatim from this contract violation, okay? Order never arrived. I'm going to pull it up right here. Tips for contact delivery, submit a helpful photo, blah, blah, blah. Dispute. Your dispute is pending. Review your dispute is currently pending due to volume. Not all disputes are reviewed. Next 100 deliveries. Remember, contract violations only remain for your next 100 deliveries. Contract violations with a contract violation. She said this pretty much verbatim. Contract violations with a pending, quotation marks, dispute do not count towards the activation. So it tells you that in the app. And she just told us that because she's reading it. That's the DoorDash language. Do you trust it or not? That's up to you. Who knows? I don't have no idea. I can pretend like I do. Contract violations with the pending dispute, which I have that, do not count towards the activation. Any contract violation with the pending dispute will either be reviewed prior to deactivation, so they'll review it, I guess, or will not be considered in making a deactivation decision. So listen, at the end of the day, do I like seeing that on there? No. I don't like seeing one contract violation. I've had two at once from a stack. Some of y'all might remember that. And I was still able to make money and they still sent me good orders. I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was punished in any way. So did we learn anything? No. Was it maybe entertaining? Sure. She was on her game. Some of you guys said, right. Um, I think she was definitely reading off a script and you know, there's only so much they can do for us. And I did what I needed to do. So if you get a contract violation from a miserable guy named Todd, T-O-D-D. -D. I'll tell you where he lives. Well, I'll tell you, he lives around Hampton. I didn't give you his address. But if you're in St. Louis and you deliver a Todd around the Hampton Avenue area, drop the order, unassign it. Because he's probably going to say you didn't get it. So if you deliver to people like Todd or Karen or Kim or Ken, whatever you want to call them, right? And they say they didn't get their food immediately. As soon as you see that, dispute. Put in your information. Send an email, separate email with any other information, a video cam, additional pictures. Always take pictures with the photo that's clear with the address. Protect yourself so that when you submit a dispute, you have all the clear evidence there so that you can at least protect yourself from a possible deactivation. And if you are in a market where you need to keep 90% completion rate, keep 90% completion rate. Stop crying about it. Protect your account. Protect your opportunity to make money. That's my hot takes for this evening. Let's open up the StreamYard link. Let's get it up. Let's get it popping tonight, guys. All right. So let me go in here real quick. I'm going to invite who wants to come up and talk about these things. I think I had one other topic, but let me let me let me do this first. Copy. I'll put it in the chat. And one second here.